And the story goes that at that point, he knew that one of them was going to betray him, which was Judas, who was also in the painting. And he announces to his apostles that one of them is going to betray him. That's the most fascinating thing about this painting. It's such a jam-packed painting. There's like so much going on. There's so many different characters, so many different emotions, so many different interpretations to how the different characters in that or how the different people in that painting are reacting. That's kind of what makes this painting immortal. That's what made it very special back then that makes it a very special work to this day. So I've known about this painting for a long time because The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown was one of my favorite books like 20 years ago whenever I read it as a kid. And that painting was actually a big part of that book where they're trying to solve this mystery. And Dan Brown comes with this like ridiculous theory about like one of the apostles in the painting not actually being his apostle but being like someone else. You should read the book. I'm not gonna spoil it <laughs> in this video. That's why I've always been fascinated with this painting and with like Renaissance art in general ever since I read that book. Thanks Dan Brown.